the first impression that comes to our mind about any college tall buildings big classrooms large lobby areas thick books it labs assignments class tests and projects nothing besides that every hour minute second spent here help us carving and shaping our persona cultivating innovative mindsets for the challenging world Learning is a lifelong process. Sharing knowledge, inculcating values of life, spark the innovative horizons of mind. Fun and frolic is the nature of every nook and corner here. A daily dose of thrill we are sure to get here. Good morning everyone. I Mudita Raj welcome you all to the launch event of Cineast International Film Festival of India SIFI 2021 This film festival is being organized by Delhi Metropolitan Education in association with Deakin University Melbourne Australia Delhi Metropolitan Education DM is an A grade premier educational institute affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University New Delhi and approved by the Bar Council of India The institute offers BBA, BLLB, and BBLLB with BCI approval and BA JMC programs. DME believes in imparting world-class education to its students while training them to develop and enhance their skills. This education and training enables them in taking up challenges of the industry and creating a space for themselves with their competence and vigor. Deakin University is a progressive and open-minded university with the highest student satisfaction in Victoria. The university focuses on imparting award-winning courses with innovative teaching pedagogies. I would specially like to welcome today the dignitaries joining us from Deakin University, Dr. Vikram Kishore, Senior Lecturer, School of Communication and Creative Arts, and SIFI Festival Director, Dr. Simon Wilmont, Senior Lecturer and Associate Head of School, Partnership and International School of Communication and Creative Arts. Professor Sean Redmond School of Communication and Creative Arts Dr Russell Kennedy Head Screen and Design Group Dr Sian Mitchell Lecturer School of Communication and Creative Arts Dr Dirk De Bryan Associate Professor Dr Victoria Duckett Senior Lecturer and Dr Liz Buluch We also have us joining Dr Russell Kennedy Head Screen and Design Group We are honored to have you here with us The festival is ambassador for SIFI is Mr Digman Sudhuria SIFI 2021 is the third edition of the film festival. We are coming up with new zeal and vigor. From around the world, cinema has faced a flip shift, but filmmakers, viewers are still finding a way to explore new dimensions in storytelling and cinema narration. We are committed to discover the motion pictures within the new normal of the contemporary social structure through film festival SIFI. The theme of this year is cinematic rejuvenation. During the days of SIFI 2021 we plan to hold the screenings of films in various genres such as documentaries short films and animation films along with deliberations on cinema and its various aspects through workshops curated sessions and panel discussions with eminent experts SIFI 2021 will also witness two special sessions of paper presentations in academic film congress by cinema researchers with an objective to seek knowledge and information from ongoing studies and conclusions revolving around cinema and its various aspects the special research deliberations will be presented in the scenario of both indian and australian cinema as a whole the selected papers will be published in an edited book sifi 2021 will also witness a special curated session by south asian stories made in australia sasma the segment will showcase feature length fiction and documentary films while competitive section will focus on films up to 30 minutes in the categories of fiction documentary music and experimental music it gives me great pleasure to announce that this year we have received over 1000 films from 94 countries now without further ado i would like to request professor dr susmita bala head dme media school and festival chief associate director to give the formal welcome note over to you ma'am thank you udita good morning dignitaries of india and australia and dear distinguished welcome everybody in the launch event of city 
Delhi Metropolitan Education, a premier institute of Guru Gobind Singh IT University, New Delhi, India, in association with Deakin University, one of the biggest public university of Australia, located in Melbourne, organizing CIFI 2021. CIFI 2019, the first edition of CIFI was held jointly in DME campus in Noida. New Delhi National Capital on April 17 to 20, 2019. In CIFI 2019, we received 140 films and had a screening time of more than 32 hours. In the second edition of CIFI was held in hybrid mode on December 15 to 21, 2020 on the central theme cinema and COVID-19 impact. In CIFI 2020, we received 110 films in seven categories and had a screening time of more than 40 hours. CIFI 2020 witnessed a total of 12 film screening sessions, nine panel discussions, four curated sessions, two master classes, two workshops, and two special sessions. CIFI 2021 is being organized from 17 to 23rd. We plan to hold a screening of films in various genre, such as documentaries, short films, and animation films, along with the deliberation on cinema and its various aspects through workshops, curated sessions, and panel discussion with eminent experts. CP 2021 will also witness a special curated session, South Asian Stories Made in Australia. I once again welcome you all in the launch of CP 2021. Thanks everyone for joining and spare your time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I would now like to request Professor Dr. Amri Saxena, Dean, DME Media School and CIFI Festival Director to enlighten us with the highlights of the Seniest International Film Festival of India, CIFI. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Mudita. Uh, welcome uh, everybody from uh, Deakin University, Australia. Uh, since, uh, I mean, it's really, uh, uh, I mean, a matter of pleasure that uh, so many people, right from uh, Sean to uh, Simon and Russell, uh, Sean, Michelle, who was there last year as well. So, and Martin was also there last year. So, uh, we, have, we are happy to see him here again. So, really, this is a venture which is unique in itself uh, in the sense uh, that uh, this there is no other example of this kind. Uh, we are in two different institutions located in two different countries. They join hands to organize a film festival. <clears throat> film festivals are organized obviously by educational institutions but not the way that we are organizing it and the more remarkable thing is that we have been able to maintain this consistency and this is the uh, third edition of uh, CIFI and uh, the two editions first edition obviously when we organized it in 2019 that time it was in the physical mode uh, but uh, that was the time that somehow uh, the, the guests from the Deakin University could not join and when it all became possible uh, that uh, everybody would have been here in India in 2020 and then in 2021, this uh, Corona is struck and again, uh, we are not able to meet face to face. So last year also it was in the hybrid mode and uh, we are not sure that how it is going to be there this year, maybe hybrid, maybe in the physical. We initially plan to be uh, to have it in the physical mode uh, but then as the situation uh, might be we will try to have certain sessions in the uh, physical mode uh, as well because uh, there are a lot of such um, activities in a film festival wherein face-to-face -face deliberations are required. 
so each year we we uh, broadly um, take up two broad areas one is the film screening which is the essential thing in a film festival and then second part is all about deliberations so, so last year our focus was obviously more on deliberations we are in the panel discussions workshops master classes plenary sessions all these things happened and uh, i am happy to point out here that four to five sessions were uh, were, were taken up by our uh, guest uh, by our uh, partners uh, from Deakin University, which also include the uh, sessions taken by the faculty members of Deakin University and also the, uh, the students of uh, Deakin University, which is actually the crux of any collaboration, wherein the, the equal amount of participation with the same zeal and spirit is done uh, by the partnering institutions. And uh, Dr. Vikrant Kishore obviously has always been in the full forefront of this partnership and that is how we have been pulling on uh, till this time and uh, not only in the film festival CP we have been continuing this uh, partnership in the international conference ICANN and ICANN has also uh, gone through four editions so this year in July, the fourth edition took place and right from the second edition, uh, which happened uh, in 2018, November 2018. So that time it uh, again happened with the help of the Deakin University and we have a very big uh, inaugural function in Habitat Center. Uh, we are in uh, the number of scholars and the representatives from Deakin University, they were there uh, physically in that session and participating in this session. So I um, would like to emphasize this uh, that this kind of partnership is more most unique in this world and we will continue this uh, this uh, partnership to achieve some more landmark and uh, one good thing which mudita has already pointed out that this year we opened the uh, the um, entries on Phil Freeway quite early and uh, we are getting a very encouraging response in the sense that more than 1000 films we have already received, uh, which are coming from uh, more than 90 countries. So this is really encouraging for us all and this will also pave way to putting more emphasis on the screening of the films and I must also point out here that uh, there are few such senior people in India, the, in media academics and media profession, who have always been there in whatever academic ventures, film ventures we are into. And uh, Professor K.G. Suresh, who were earlier Director General in Indian Institute of Mass Communication, since that time, he has been a very strong uh, support to us, whether it's ICANN or CIFI. And right now, he is the Vice Chancellor of the Asia's first journalism university, that is Makhalal University located in Bhopal. Another person which I would like to make a mention is Professor Ujjal Chaudhary, who till recently was the vice chancellor of Adamas University. And he has been holding all top positions, you name any media institution in the country, right from Symbiosis to Adamas University. And very recently, uh, we all three, I, Professor K.G. Suresh and Professor Ujjal Chaudhary, we have set up a global organization by the name of Global Media Education Council. So we are trying to do something substantial, something good, uh, in the field of media education, in the field of media research, in the field of uh, uh, organizing conferences or the film festivals like this. And on top of uh, everything, uh, we are lucky to have uh, Mr. Thigmanshu Dhulia with us, who is the brand ambassador of SIFI. And uh, right from the first edition, he has been with us and he has agreed that he will always be there supporting this kind of endeavor, this uh, film festival. Incidentally, he um, today he has a, a scheduled uh, 
uh, shooting right from early morning. So might be he find it difficult to uh, attend, but then he has sent uh, his uh, video message uh, giving his uh, all best wishes for the film festival. So mm, I'm sure that will with, with such a galaxy with us, with uh, such a solid team and uh, the team of supporters with us. And uh, again, I must also make a mention, the biggest support with us is that of the students. Uh, in DME also, the students are always full with zeal and spirit, and they are always for any such program which which is learning based, which is knowledge based, which is based on any such thing, uh, wherein they are gaining some knowledge, they are learning new things, and they are getting exposed to all such people, to all such scholars, which is really difficult uh, for the students in any institutions, be it India or uh, outside. So with this note, uh, I stop here and uh, we would like to listen to many of the dignitaries who have attended who are attending this session. Uh, thank you all. Thank you, sir. I would now request Ms. Manmeet Kaur, Assistant Professor, to share the journey of SIFI so far. Ma'am, over to you. Thank you so much, Mudita. Thank you. Uh, before coming to my presentation, Professor K.G. Suresh, uh, Vice Chancellor from Makhanlal Chaturvedi National University of Journalism and Mass Communication has joined SIFI launch event. We welcome you, sir. Professor Ujwal Chaudhary, a uh, former Pro Vice Chancellor from Adamas University and President of uh, Global Media Education Council. He has also joined this SIFI launch event. I welcome you, sir. And Mr. Raman Sahani, Vice Chairman from DME, has joined the event. We all welcome you, sir, to this launch event of SIFI 2021. So here, uh, I'm going to present a small presentation of a uh, journey of SIFI so far. But before that, I would like uh, to showcase the slider and the poster of SIFI 2021. And this year, the theme for SIFI 2021 is cinematic rejuvenation because we are hopeful that we are in the exit mode of pandemic COVID-19. And this year, we are trying to explore the new avenues uh, in filmmaking, in story uh, telling and narration uh, in cinematic forms. So this is the slider for uh, this year's film festival. And these are the various uh, categories. And we have nine categories, competitive categories for which we have uh, called for entries. Uh, and from Film Freeway, uh, as Pro Professor Saxena already discussed that we have received over 1000 films from 92 different countries. So for that, we will be finalizing the jury uh, four member jury and they will select the movies uh, for the best award category for SIFI 2021. In the previous issues as well, in 2019 and 2020, jury member, they had decided the best movies for different categories. So the registration dates, they are open till October 31 and delayed registration is open till November 20. So uh, in this edition of SIFI 2021, we have actually uh, uh, finalized in association with Deccan University, we have finalized one session, which will be a dedicated session for the film-based research papers in the category of where we are exploring the uh, cast and the um, representation of cast on the cinema screen. So this is the poster for call for entries and we are uh, calling the papers, research articles um, uh, till October 30th, 2021. And we are hopeful that we will be receiving the research based uh, film articles from various scholars from uh, different countries and from India as well. So the festival director for CP 2021, Professor Dr. Mri Saxena, Dean DME, Media School and Director, International Collaborations at DME, and Dr. Vikrant Kishore, Senior Lecturer, School of Creative Arts and Communication from Deccan University, Melbourne, Australia. CIFI 2021 will also witness a special curate session, South Asian Stories Made in Australia, and we are hopeful that for this curate session, 
we will be uh, discussing on various deliberations uh, where south asian stories uh, uh, their representation uh, on the screen as well as their representation in the world of cinema how uh, uh, how how uh, they curate their stories in the uh, in various categories so we will be having this curate session i have already told that four jury member will select the movies and they will finalize the best award categories in various sifi competitive categories so sifi 2019 was also held in association with deccan university melbourne australia and the dates for sifi 2019 were april 17 to 20 and it was a four day film festival where 13 countries participated and won various awards for various categories and the total screening duration was 31 hours and we had received 81 uh, movies total where australian films we have four uh, dedicated segments Uh, for australian films and we had 11 part festival partners for sifi 2019 and we also had conducted two master classes three workshops two panel discussions three curate sessions and there were total 10 sessions in the first edition of sifi that is 2019 so it was inaugurated by mr khalid mohammed and there was one screen by ms sara lamber Uh, the unveiling of studio 69 uh, uh, 62 uh, at dme it was done by mr tigman shudulia celebrated filmmaker from mumbai and it there was a chat show mr uh, with uh, mr tigman shudulia and the valedictory ceremony and award ceremony uh, was done by uh, mr tigman shudulia mr muzammil hayat bhavani and other various celebrity uh, celebrities from academia as well as from the mainstream cinema so these are few highlights attractions of sifi 2019 and we had conducted a uh, sifi 2019 uh, entirely in offline mode and in 2020 we had decided the theme that is cinema and covid 19 impact so uh, festival ambassador mr tigman shudulia he was there at the launch event on 16 september 2020 and these were the categories for which sifi 2020 called for the entries so this is the glimpse of sifi 2020 which we had conducted entirely on online mode <clears throat> these are the few creatives from the inaugural session and for 2020 we had received 110 films seven categories different categories there were two special segments 10 languages uh, where we had received the films 10 countries had participated Ten Indian states had participated. There were ten institutes who had collaborated with us as our festival partners, and other uh, institutes from where we have received the entries, and they have also planned for various deliberations and sessions during Sifi 2020. Uh, during the Sifi 2020, the first look of the movie Bhaskar Bechain, starring Raghubir Yadav from Marathi Cinema, and it was directed by Mr. Prince Shadwal and Mr. Raj Gupta, and produced by Mr. Raman Sahani from Cover Drive Production. Sifi 2020 uh, has also experienced the presence of various dignitaries like Mr. Prambhata Chattopadhyay Chatterjee. he is a famous artist from bengali cinema <clears throat> sorry and from mainstream cinema mr tigman shudulia mr muzammil bhavani mr paul deeds peter deeds cover deepak gulati uh, uh, dr shyan michel dr gauri chakraborty dr vikrant kishor mr praveen nagra mr ashish kulkarni mr simon wilmot dr dirk bruen mr simon taylor and mr nimish kapoor and to name a few they all had graced the occasion of sifi 2020 and of course we are thankful to our uh, members of advisory board for sifi film festival including professor ujwal k choudhary professor k g suresh uh, ms kajal suri uh, mr anupam sharma and to name a few so festival partners there uh, there were 12 festival partners there were one film society we have academic partners we have vigyan prasar Indian Documentary Producers Association, uh, Pioneer, and the Policy Times as our media partners. So this is all the journey of Sifi 2019 and Sifi 2020. And this year as well, we are hopeful that we are going to conduct to hold various deliberations and sessions, which will unveil the hidden stories from the mainstream cinema, from South Asian cinema, as well as from the cinema from different parts of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Sifi has miles to go. 
I now request Dr. Vikrant Kishore, Senior Lecturer in Screen and Design School of Communication and Creative Arts, Deakin University, and Sifi Festival Director to please address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thanks, Mudita, and thanks, Manmeet, uh, and thanks to all, uh, everyone who has joined us today uh, from Deakin and DME. And before I start, I would like to recognize the various traditional lands where we are located and acknowledge the elders, past, present, and emerging. I acknowledge the land, waterways, and the airways of Kulin Nation and the Gunitmara people, and pay our respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I also acknowledge the rights and struggles of the Dalits and Adivasis of India. And of course, it is great to be a part of this festival. It was so good to hear Amrish and uh, Shushmita ji and then Manmeet, you know, giving us the whole, you know, uh, report on what we did in the last two years. And now it's uh, the third edition that we are doing. And it's really, really, you know, uh, I was feeling very proud of what we have achieved. And of course, uh, at the forefront has been DME and the kind of work that Amrish and his team has done. It's, uh, it's amazing. So it's absolutely fantastic to be a part of this festival. And our association with DME started four years back with the ICANN conference. And from there, we have been collaborating and participating in various seminars, conferences, and festivals. And in a way, I think the virtual world post COVID has helped us to engage much more actively. And I'm thankful again to the team uh, led by Professor Saxena and Sushmita Bala. And I'm also appreciative of the support that has been provided by DME's management, uh, especially uh, Mr. Aman Sahani, you know, and my initial discussion with him, you know, it was very good to see the kind of uh, vision he had for this collaboration between DME and Deakin. And that time we were just, you know, trying to see how far we can go. And now after three years, I think we have come quite, we have covered quite a lot of ground and not only just doing festivals or conferences, but we have to, you know, make much more out of this kind of uh, collaboration. And I'm also absolutely thankful to the work that the DME staff members do, you know, from Manmi to Mudita to Pramod, uh, Sumantra and all, all other people, and I'm forgetting lots of names here, but I would definitely acknowledge all the staff members. I know that uh, for each of these festivals, uh, well, for us, it's just seven days. For them, it's almost months and months of uh, kind of work. So I acknowledge them and uh, also the students for making this a kind of a successful festival and contributing it from all sides. And we definitely want to see our students participating more in this uh, festival. Uh, we certainly want to contribute more towards making the festival not only a film showcase event, but to create a platform for Australia-India film and research collaboration and networking opportunities. So on behalf of SIFI, I welcome you all, and we look forward to seeing you in the week-long festival in December. Many thanks. Thank you, sir. I request Professor Ujwal K. Chaudhary, educationist and columnist and president, Global Med Media Education Council, to please address the gathering. Over to you, Ujwal, sir. Thank you. I'm calling from a car. I don't know if the connection gets disconnected. And a small correction, I'm Secretary Global Media Education Council, not President. Uh, the President will speak a little later, I suppose. Um, uh, yes, coming to this uh, SIFI, it's a homecoming sort of things. I've been associated with SIFI in the earlier editions as well, when I was the Pro Vice Chancellor of uh, Adamus University, and the university was partnering with the Institute with this program, uh, SIFI Festival as well. Uh, what makes, uh, uh, cinema study is very interesting is that films are the most what should i say creative expression uh, the post pandemic in the digital world it is a web led media whether it's journalism entertainment or brand communication and in the web led media from 15 seconds to 150 minutes all forms of film are becoming popular and necessary this must be understood is not just about uh, is not just about the feature films. So today's festival, when you look at festival, uh, the today's festival uh, uh, should cover all forms of cinematic, filmic expressions, and that's the beauty of CP. It actually covers all forms of cinematic expression. Yes, sir. Uh, I would now request Professor Dr. Ravi Khan Swami to please address the gathering. Over to you, sir. So uh, we have been talking about uh, theory and practice since long, 
but uh, when i translate this concept of uh, theory and practice into the media industry so on the one hand we have media on the other hand we have academics and uh, i think uh, uh, dme and uh, deccan university have together innovated a uh, amalgamation of media and academics and um, and we can name it medamix media and academics so uh, probably while we talk about cfi uh, like say the film fair award is there for uh, for the film industry but if i talk about medamix means media and academics i think cfi is a pioneer uh, film festival uh, as far as the uh, diversity of cfi is concerned well uh, it's it's so great that uh, that the unexplored areas are are brought to the fore uh, say for example vikrant ji has worked a lot on tribal so uh, tribal dances and all that so all these uh, areas which are uh, probably uh, uh, i'll not call them parallel cinema but but something parallel to the parallel so these things are uh, they they get displayed they get depicted in in this film festival called cp uh well uh, i congratulate the media school for uh, organizing such a innovative uh, and pioneering film festival in this industry innovated by deccan and dme called medamix thank you thank you sir the students of any institute become the soul so i now request our technical team to please share the students with you Last year, DME Media School with Deakin University Melbourne organized world's first seven-day hybrid international film festival by educational institutions, CIFI 2020. Welcome to Cineast International Film Festival of India 2021, organized by DME Media School India in association with Deakin University Melbourne, Australia. From 17 December to 23 December 2021. Send us the story you want to tell and be a part of CIFI. Join us for the celebration of the most powerful medium of storytelling, cinema. Thank you. I now request Professor Sean Redmond, School of Communication and Creative Arts, Deakin University, to please address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you for the introduction and and thank you for such a, a beautiful experience so far. I can extend my thanks, heartfelt thanks to Vikrant, uh, not only for the work he's done on this festival, uh, but across the years has been an exemplary role model for 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 staff at Deakin, and uh, he extends that work uh, to the communities in Melbourne too. So, so huge warm thanks to all your work, um, Vikrant, and to everybody at DME. Uh, Vikrant asked me just to introduce the network that we have at Deakin, so I'm going to do that. It'll only be a couple of minutes. Uh, but the hope, the intention, the aspiration, the desire, the hunger is to um, is to uh, make our network meet, uh, break bread with DME to a longer term. Not not here today, so I'll just go through these slides. Uh, so about two years ago, we set up the Asian Media and Cultural Studies Network in my school, School of Communication and Creative Arts. Although it's a faculty network and it includes people from anthropology, sociology, uh, political science. Um, cultural studies, film studies, and the list goes on. Uh, there's a quote there from the brilliant Stuart Hall, a Black British cultural theorist, who says that what we should be doing with our work is ending, understanding everyday experience, experience lived, experience interpreted, experience defined, and that probably, in a nutshell, <clears throat> is the type of work that we're trying to do in the network. Uh, as I said, it started a couple of years ago, brings in all these brilliant incandescent scholars who we each take a particular lens. Uh, to Asian media and cultural studies work. Uh, there is creative practitioners as well as uh, traditional scholars. And it's in that meeting place where I think the most exciting work um, moves. Uh, what do we do? The Asian media and cultural studies network undertakes comparative and cross-cultural work, particularly in the areas of, these are just some of the areas of expertise in the team, digital media production, youth cultures, national and regional identities and cultures of fame. However, within that, there are some uh, sort of staunchly brilliant, evocative, provocative documentary filmmakers, those who work with short films, uh, those who work in animation. We explore Asian and media and cultural studies from the inside out, reversing previous core periphery binaries. Very often it was the Western eye um, 
uh, the Northern Hemisphere eye that, that gazed its lens upon the poetics and politics of Asia, and the intention is to turn that inside out. The network is initiative at Deakin University. We've got partners in Tsinghua, Wuhan, Shanghai Universities in China, Hong Kong Baptist in um, Hong Kong, Nanyang Technology University in Singapore, Saka University in Japan, and the University of Hyderabad in India, amongst others. We've got a Facebook community with over 2,000 members, and it's there where we explore and share and, and um, dynamize our network. And we've also got a university page where you can, um, you know, where, where people can go and see the types of projects that we're working on. The aim is to develop an inclusive interdisciplinary research culture that addresses the representations and discourses of Asia through a national and transnational lens, through a local, myopic, um, narrow, and then a, a wider aperture that takes in sort of transnational, complex global relations. We want to set up multi-site co-funded research projects that draw upon these cross-disciplinary skills, theories and methods to incisively answer living questions that are of concern to Asian media cultural scholars today. Experience lived, experience interpreted, experience defined. We want to engage in forms of what's known as participatory culture with our communities and partners, locally, nationally and globally, not top down, not in out, but hand in glove with those that we work with. We want to ensure our research is high in measurable impact, and it matters, that it makes a difference, that has impact in everyday lives. And Vikram talks passionately and powerfully and poetically uh, about issues to do with caste prejudice in Melbourne, for example. And what we'd want to do with that work is ensure that there are transformations, radical, long-term, intergenerational, that stops such prejudice. So we want to speak truth to power and ideology and to set free our imaginations. The image, the imagine, the imaginary, these are all terms that direct us to something critical and new and global cultural processes. Imagination is a social practice, no longer mere fantasy, no longer a form of escape, no longer an elite pastime, no longer mere contemplation. Imagination has become an organized field of social practice, a form of work in the sense of labor and organized practice, and forms and negotiation between sites of agency, individuals, and global defined fields of possibility. The unleashing of the imagination links the play of prestige in some settings to the terror and coercion of states and their competitors. The imagination is now central to all forms of agency, is itself a social act, and is the key component of the new global order. Future directions, building honest research-led industry partnerships and community relationships locally, nationally, internationally. We hope to do much, much more work with DME. We want to look to develop funded interdisciplinary research projects where the research endures. So not grants for grants sake, not projects just because they sound right, but because that research will have impact in the social world and transform people's lives. In consort, develop an income strategy for the network that takes in philanthropy, sponsorship, state and federal awards and local, national, international grants. Seed, grow, plant, develop the network. We want to develop cross faculty relationships within our university to square the intellectual circle. That's pretty much uh, the Asian Mutual and Cultural Studies Network. I hope that it's of interest to people at DME. And again, huge thanks to everybody for inviting us here today. Over to you. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Dr. Russell Kennedy, Head Screen and Design Group, Deakin University, to please address the gathering. Thank you, Medita. Yes, on behalf of Deakin University, I would like to graduate, congratulate all those involved in developing the Cineast International Film Festival of India and to the event it is today. There are many people to mention uh, from both Deakin University and also DME, but I'd specifically like to acknowledge uh, Professor Ambrish Saxena and uh, from uh, DME and uh, Dr. Vikrant uh, Kishore from, um, from Deakin University. In 2018, Deakin University started a partnership with, um, uh, with the Delhi Metropolitan Education Institute to develop an international conference in India, um, of, of, sorry, on, on Indian cinema and alternate networks. Um, Ambridge worked closely with, with Vikram to create a conference that delves into various historical aspects of Indian, Indian cinema, including 
reception, consumption, collaboration and, and distribution. Uh, the Cineat's uh, International Film Festival of India followed on from this in 2019 with Dr. Vikram Kishore as its inaugural festival director. Deacon is proud to be involved and from our point of view, this initiative reinforces our long-standing commitment towards shaping meaningful relationships with Indian universities, institutes and colleges. It also highlights the significance of an Australian Indian bilateral association in cinema. This festival provides a specific and dynamic forum for scholars, industry experts and students in the field of film, television and innovation to present their work and continue to develop mutually beneficial dialogue and cultural exchange. Such collaborations provide positive opportunities to increase research-oriented dialogue between Australia and India. We view this as an important cultural exchange and hope the festival will continue to evolve and grow for many years to come. Thank you again to Ambrish and um, Vikran and to all um, contributors and filmmakers. You have created something really quite special. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Dr. C.N. Muchil, lecturer, School of Communication and Creative Arts, Deakin University, to please address the gathering. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Mudita. Um, thank you. Thank you very much to the festival organisers for inviting me to speak today. Um, and congratulations on launching another wonderful festival, and particularly with such a positive and uplifting theme, which I think we all need at the moment. Um, it's also really great to see uh, some familiar faces from last year where I had the pleasure of being involved for the first time in SIFI. Um, I'd like to just sort of begin by acknowledging that I'm actually joining this launch on the traditional lands and waters of the Bunurong Bunurong people of the Eastern Kulin Nation. I want to pay my respects to their elders past and present, but also acknowledge that our, our First Nations people's enduring connection to country, to knowledge and to story. As an organiser of a film festival myself, um, I understand the amount of time and work and energy that goes into creating a dynamic program of screening and events. And once again, the need to hold these online produces challenges, but I think it also offers a lot of opportunity to connect and collaborate with one another in different and really creative ways. Um, as we know, film festivals are spaces, social spaces that bring people together uh, and explore a shared passion for cinema and for storytelling. And I think this is especially so when we think about the ongoing partnership between Deakin and DME uh, with this festival, where we can bring together our students, our colleagues and our communities to connect with each other on an international level. Um, I'm also really excited to hear about the, the growth of SIFI over the years too, um, particularly in terms of the number of submissions received this year. I think that's an amazing achievement. Um, so congratulations to the organisers for that too. Um, I think the festival provides a space to, to share creative work with one another, discuss the craft of filmmaking and celebrate achievement. And I hope that these, all of these conversations can lead to further opportunities uh, and creative collaborations in the future. Um, so once again, congratulations on the launch of the festival and all the hard work that's gone into it. I appreciate the continued partnership between our institutions and the support this festival gives to our students in particular. Um, and I'm very, very much looking forward to um, seeing December's program. So thank you once again. Thank you so much. Now I request Dr. Simon Wilmot, Senior Lecturer, School of Creative Arts, Deakin University, to please address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Well, thank you, Medita. Um, so namaste and good afternoon to everyone and to our distinguished guests, Justice Singh, Mr. Sunny, Professor Swami Singh, Timusu Dalia, Professor Chowdhury and Professor Suresh. And hello to all the students who have joined us today because uh, you are very important to what's happening here today. Uh, I'd also like to add my thanks and appreciation to Professor Sexina for organising this festival and for continuing to involve Deacon. And thanks to his dedicated team who's working so hard to make this possible. Uh, it's phenomenal how quickly this event came together. Very impressed. Um, I'd also like to thank my colleagues, Professor Redmond, Dr Mitchell, Dr Potter, Dr Kennedy, Dr Broom, and in particular Dr Kishore for their invaluable contributions in making our involvement possible. And I'd like to acknowledge that I'm talking to you today on the land of the Wadanjeri people of the Kulin Nations, and their traditional greeting in the Woiwurrung language is Womanjeka, 
And this kind of translates as, hi, and what are we here today to talk about? So woman Jekka, and this question has been well explained by previous speakers, so thanks to all of them as well. Deakin has a long history of engagement in India, going back to the late 1990s when we first opened an office in Nehru Place. Since then, Deakin has invested over $20 million in research collaborations in India with leading institutions such as the Madras Diabetics Foundation, um, Shankara Natharala, uh, Max Healthcare, the Rajasthan Royals, Reliance Life Sciences and, Abra and Bharat Forge. We've also established the Terry Deacon Nanobiological Research Center. It's a $10 million institution that brings together Deacon's cutting edge expertise in nanomaterials with the Energy Resource Institute of India's extensive biotech experience. So creating collaborations with partners in India is very important for Deacon. And we are really pleased that this relationship with DME has grown and developed. So this year we signed an MOU with DME um, and that's a very a significant step forward. And this will underpin at this partnership and provide the basis for enhancing and expanding the ways we work together going into the future. The uh, pandemic has been terrible for the world and has had terrible impact in India and is currently restricting us here in Melbourne. But however, last year it caused us to work together online on this festival and we achieved a greater degree of collaboration than I think we might otherwise have previously thought possible. So that was very special. Um, and while we not, might not be able to participate physically, and I tell you, I for one really miss visiting Delhi and I, miss, and I really miss being able to join you in Noida, um, we have laid the basis for working together on progressing our shared interests in media education, the work of students, and it's great to have this opportunity to have student work exhibited. And of course, all types of films and in support and development of our cultural, artistic and creative industries online. And I think that's really, really important here. And um, we've achieved so much in this and we, we keep going forward with it. So I also commend um, Sean's Asia Media and Cultural Studies Network to you. Um, I think this is, uh, I mean, I've been uh, uh, traveling to India and working and talking to Indian institutions for a long time. And um, this development is one of the most exciting um, platforms I've seen. It is the most exciting, I should say, for us um, doing joint collaborative research in India. Um, so I look forward to your participation in it. Well done to everybody involved in this festival and, um, and the DME. And we look forward to growing this collaboration and to seeing where it takes us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I would now request our technical team to please play the SIPI launch video. Cineasta International Film Festival of India, that is SIPI. This is the branch of DME and DME Media School. It's wonderful to know that the latest edition of SIPI is taking place in December 2021. Hello everyone, I'm Sian Mitchell from Deakin University and a big congratulations on launching the third Cineast International Film Festival of India. Hello and welcome to the third edition of SIFI. DME Media School is organizing the third edition of SIFI Film Festival in collaboration with Deakin University, Melbourne, Australia. We look forward to hosting you to this DME Deakin partnered week-long film festival in December 2021. And from the very first edition, we had this in collaboration with Deakin University Australia. And since that time, this collaboration is continuing. So this is the most unique thing with any film festival that any university or college might be happening, that two educational institutions from two different countries, they have joined hands to organize such kind of film festival. In the past as well, the event has been very well received. In 2019, we organized this in April for four days. And in DME, we have the state of the art studio, that is Studio 62. So we were having all the sessions direct online 
from Studio 62. An important thing was that we had two platforms simultaneously working. On one, there was happening the screening of films, and on another platform, there were sessions happening. And these were the sessions like plenary session or the workshops or the master classes, panel discussions, and the same kind of sessions we are going to have this time as well. There will be many curated sessions, workshops and master classes by experts. So we look forward to a lot of participation by many people. Where we'll celebrate cinema, deliberate and discuss on various aspects of filmmaking and of course recognize the amazing work of film students and provide an opportunity to interact with film industry experts and practitioners. This event is such a wonderful opportunity for our students to create international connections, get involved in screen culture and experience a film festival atmosphere. Many foreign scholars and filmmakers from Australia to Europe are participating in situ. And this time also the focus is on sessions because at a time when films are available nowadays on multiple platforms, the OTT has come. So watching a film is not that important. The more important thing is how to understand a film, how to appreciate a film. And that is how we have these kind of sessions where we invite and again we are going to invite the filmmakers, the directors, the actors and also the film academy person, the researchers. So all these people will be joining hands in different sessions. And I must tell you this as well, that our brand ambassador is Tigmanshu Dhulia. And he has been the brand ambassador for all the three sessions. Across seven categories, there will be many entries and it is very accessible this time with no entry fee. I call upon the students and independent filmmakers to submit their films for seven categories of CV. Submit your fiction, documentary, music album, and film of other genre. This will be a great opportunity to network and collaborate, especially for Australian and Indian film practitioners and students. And this time there is the additional feature of uh, research being included in it. Once again, I'm looking forward to seeing this year's exciting program. See you at the festival. So we all really look forward to it. We look forward to seeing you at SIFI 2021. See you soon. In this post-pandemic period, we all must join hands to celebrate cinema. So hurry up and be with us for cherishing cinema. So let us hope that it will be an assembly of all film-loving people, film enthusiasts from different parts of the world, from India also, from different parts of the country. And this will be really an interesting and amazing experience for everybody, whosoever is there to enjoy this film festival. We tried to educate our students with compassion and we were always there for them in whatever ways we could. I now request our technical team to please play the compassionate education video as made by the team of Delhi Metropolitan Education. In DME, we believe in engagement and empowerment of our students. And since the time this COVID-19 is struck in 2020, we intensified this whole process. For the education sector, it was a big challenge at DME, our small dynamic team decided to take this challenge head on. We organized different kind of programs, different webinars wherein the distinguished people from the industry and other walks of life, they are invited to interact with the students. We try to keep them engaged in taking out newsletter, writing stories, editing stories, and not only that, they make posters, they make cartoons, they write pieces for the newsletter. Mentoring Cell at DNA is a very unique feature in the ecosystem of education. While the subject teachers forge the knowledge domain strongly, it is the mentors who reach out to students in difficult times. During pandemic, 
when our student faced loss of their loved ones, home isolation, and several other family issues. Mentors ensured that students remain cheerful, lively, and stay connected with us. We have ensured that our students are treated with compassion, warmth, and gentle touch. And it has been our endeavor to treat all the academic activities of our students, which includes PSDA, internal assignment, and various other curricular activities accordingly. Research Cell also pays huge emphasis on interdisciplinary nature of research. In order to promote this, the research centers of the research cell were also motivated to join with each other and conduct research activities for students, faculty within DME and outside DME. While the strong academics and great industry connect is building great lawyers, media persons and managers at DME, we at Mentoring Cell are enabling these future leaders to be compassionate, emotionally strong and resilient for any times to come. We empower the students. All the schools of DME, they have their students' council. In DME Media School, this council is part. They organize the program themselves. They take their own decisions and they mobilize the students for all the good cause. Art has the power to unite and connect during the times of crisis. Bringing people together, sharing, soothing and inspiring are powers of art, which have been made empathically obvious by the DME Cultural Societies during the COVID-19 pandemic. By taking different innovative approaches in organizing various virtual competitions and events in which the students of DME have taken part with great enthusiasm and proved that DMEans are unstoppable. Care with compassion is motto of DME. During Corona period, we were always with our students. Their well-being is primary for us. We take care of our students. We met the expectations of the students, of the parents and above all of the industry. The placements this year were better than those of the previous years. DME is committed to supporting its students in all possible ways. Thank you so much. I would now request our technical team to please play the video message by Mr. Tignanshu Dhulia, our festival ambassador. I've been associated with this, uh, this great endeavor. And Amrish is a very dear friend. It's only because of dear friend, he's like an elder brother. Uh, because of him, I got introduced to this festival. I thought that it's a great effort having so many categories like, like advertising, and short film on COVID, uh, it's, it's a great thing. I mean, students in India need this kind of exposure. It's hard to get. I mean, these kind of films, you you don't get on YouTube so easily. I mean, you, you really need to search, search, search. Otherwise, uh, and uh, it's a sad moment because we are all facing such a big crisis that we can't meet. Otherwise, these film festivals are a, are a great opportunity when people interact meet with each other, have a cup of tea, coffee, and you know, have a discussion in small groups all over the place, talking about films, and sadly this is not going to happen this year. But I wish you all, all uh, the very, very best, and thank you, Amrish, for having me. Being me, being part of this great event. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Now, before I wind up, I would like to say the first edition of SIPI was held on April 17, 2019 on the DME campus with Deakin University Authority, Austrian, Austra Australian filmmakers and film academics joined both in online and physical mode. The second edition of SIPI was organized in the hybrid mode on the central theme cinema and COVID, which became the first longest hybrid uh, film festival by an educational institute. SIFI 2021, the, the third edition of this film festival is coming up with new flavor, zeal and spirit. And I hope that we all, uh, I hope that it is a success and we all enjoy it and learn from it as much as we did from the previous editions. I now request uh, KG Suresh sir, Vice Chancellor, Makhanlal Chaturvedi, National University of Journalism, Bhopal to please address gathering. Over to you, sir. Yes, congratulations. Uh, the DME uh, and uh, particularly the 
management my friend uh, dr amrish saxena dr shushmita bala anmit kaur and all esteemed faculty members and uh, uh, dr vikrant kishore from deccan university and all the esteemed faculty members from deccan university uh, i i must really uh, admire uh, both the institutions and particularly the dynamic leadership of dr amrish saxena who is now also the vice president of the global media education council for the consistency the perseverance in making in turning sifi into an event in the annual calendar of the cinema students and faculty across the country and now across the world i have been there right from day one and i have been part of dme's many initiatives visited it during pre covid times and i have seen the energy levels of the entire team the high energy levels and they have been doing a wonderful job i think that in this covid scenario to keep the interest in cinema alive to keep the interest in studies alive through innovative and creative uh initiatives such as cineast film international film festival not to let covid defeat you not to let covid defeat you is something that is remarkable and uh, i i believe that this is through this sifi you are not just uh, keeping the student community engaged but also you are inspiring a lot of them to be the movie makers of tomorrow and so i i don't want to uh, you may already i think that uh, the inaugural function is about to be over but i just want to say one thing that this is one of the best uh, academic events uh, which is happening in the country today and uh, everybody is looking forward to it and uh, i hope that uh, in future sifi will also have more partners from the education fraternity in the country so that it becomes a truly national event uh, and we look forward to active participation in this in the coming days also and my best wishes uh, to all the participants uh, and the organizers for the successful uh, organization of this really wonderful event my best wishes are always with you thank you for inviting me and bearing with me during this technological or technical hitch thank you thank you so much sir i now request mr aman sahani vice chairman delhi metropolitan education to please address the gathering over to you sir thank you so much and good morning um, it's wonderful to be here um in the launch of this of this wonderful event we have um, so many uh, wonderful people with us today and i'm very grateful to be a part of this and uh, we're all really looking forward to this film festival uh, we've received a lot of entries a very enthusiastic response um and and uh, much better than than the previous year so it's growing every year it's something that we we're, we're very proud of and um, i'm also very pleased about our association with deccan university we're doing some very good things with them and um, we're looking now to develop on that and uh, and and do do more and more with them and um, something that we've had a couple of meetings about and something that we're really looking forward to so all in all it's it's an, it's an excellent start to this event and uh, we're all really looking forward to it my best wishes thank you thank you so much sir i would formally like to thank everybody who joined us from deccan university and dme we are grateful for your association with us and your overall support that we have received from our partner from our associating institute and from other dignitaries 
Thank you so much. I now request Dr. Ambi Saxena, Dean DME Media School and Festival Director SIFI 2021 to please address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Mudita. Uh, so uh, obviously it was uh, a galaxy that uh, was here this morning in India, this afternoon in Australia, who join hands and who express the solidarity uh, to have something good uh, on the film's uh, scenario. And uh, we are committed to have a wonderful uh, film festival this year as, as well. And uh, the signals are always very encouraging as uh, all that has been pointed out. Uh, more number of films. Uh, so this is one area wherein we were lacking. Uh, we should admit this uh, during the first and the second edition, but this time the film's number is also very encouraging the participation of the countries we are sure is bound to cross 100 countries uh, there has to be more contents uh, seen in this film festival uh, between uh, india and australia and uh, as vikrant has already planned such kind of sessions wherein the the indian content uh, being uh, produced in australia all those uh, things can be can can be further uh, focused and also another endeavor that we have started this time that we are inviting the research-based analytical articles on the film subject. So that also will add to the feather and to many more things we will plan because uh, this is, uh, is still uh, more than two months to go. Uh, so a lot of more preparations we will do and uh, it will all be, uh, or we all will be having a wonderful experience this time in December 2020. One. So with this note, we finish today's program. I thank you all for being here and bearing with us all uh, because of this whole technical issues that we all faced. But then if we have a commitment, we have a vigor, we have the spirit, we will overcome all these things and we will make a good show uh, in December 2021. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Hoping to see you all in CIFI 2021 happening between 17th to 23rd December, 2021. Thank you. The first impression that comes to our mind about any college, tall buildings, big classrooms, large lobby areas, thick books, IT labs, assignments, class tests, and projects, nothing besides that. Every hour, minute, second spent here, help us carving and shaping our persona, cultivating innovative mindsets for the challenging world. Learning is a lifelong process. Sharing knowledge, inculcating values of life, spark the innovative horizons of mind. Fun and frolic is the nature of every nook and corner here. A daily dose of thrill, we are sure to get here.